Hello everyone, we're iRender, the easiest cloud computing service in the world. In this video, we'll show you how to use the iRender services. First, register an account. If you have an iRender account already, skip it, and log into the account. The second step is making a payment. iRender accepts making payments through several payment methods, that include PayPal, Payoneer, Momo. The minimum amount of money for each transaction is $50. The next step is to transfer files to the remote server. There are several ways to do it, either through cloud drives, like Google Drive, Dropbox, or the iRender app, called GPU Hub Sync. To use GPU Hub Sync, download and install it. This app is really convenient, as all folders you upload, will be synced to the Z drive in the remote server. To upload files, just drag and drop the folder you want here. Now, select a server type. There are different server packages categorized by the type and number of graphics cards. In particular, iRender provides NVIDIA's RTX 30 series that build a server, from 1 to 6 graphics cards, or even more, if required. Choosing a suitable one depends on, your demand for rendering, or AI training, the use of software and applications, even the project scale. In this video, we're gonna create a 4 RTX 3090 server. We then boot the image. It may take 5 to 10 minutes for a normal image. The process may take longer according to the image size. After the image is booted successfully, it means the remote server is ready to use. Notice that our system starts charging you at this step. Click the connect button to download the remote desktop connection file. Enter your credentials to connect to the remote server. You are on the remote server. As we mentioned, folders you upload to GPU Hub Sync will be in C drive. However, Z is just a network drive, it's optimal to work on hard drives like C or desktop to avoid crashes. As a result, copy the data to desktop before opening it. We will show you examples of two main iRender services, including rendering, and training AI, deep learning models. When it comes to rendering, let's take a Blender project as an example. We first set up Blender software. The installer is available on X drive, just copy it to desktop and install. Open our Blender project, do settings with GPU, and then render. Remember to save the output in the hard drive, to prevent it from being corrupted. Finally, move the rendered file to Z drive in order to sync with GPU Hub Sync. Regardless of training a model, we need to install a NVIDIA CUDA driver, and some software like Anaconda, TensorFlow. Notice that you need to set up them for the first time only. They will be saved and available for the next session.
When everything is complete, we shut down the remote server on the iRender console. The final step is to get your results, by downloading them from the GPU Hub Sync, to your personal computer. Well, we have already guided you on how to use the iRender services. There are a bunch of features to support you, while using our service. Let's check it in the iRender documentation, that we leave the link below. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you for your time. iRender, happy rendering.